If I was inclined, what might I call you? What's today? Wednesday. Hmm. Today's my day. American Gods. Stars' new mystery slash fantasy show is something I will admit to knowing absolutely nothing about. All I knew going into it was that it was based after Neil Gaiman's novel and that Hannibal showrunner Brian Fuller was on board as co-creator and his work always seems to produce terrific results. And after watching the premiere episode, it seems that he has once again struck another belter. So what is this show about? American Gods blends together a mixture of both modern and ancient mythologies. Gods exist and walk the earth. Their powers are derived from people believing in them. And as time has passed, the old gods' powers have slowly diminished as people's beliefs have waned. Rising to take their place are the new gods of the world, which reflect the current state of obsessions such as the media, guns and technology. The story follows protagonist Shadow Moon, an ex-con who is released early from prison after his beloved wife Laura died in a car accident. Shadow was lost, not having a purpose anymore. Then, on his flight home, he found himself next to a mysterious con artist known as Mr. Wednesday, who offered Shadow a job as his personal bodyguard. Little does Shadow know is that Wednesday is travelling across America to find all of the old gods in a war against the new. As a viewer, American Gods threw us right into the deep end. It wasted no time in telling us how the gods first came to America, then shifted us to the present, where the old gods are scattered and almost forgotten. Wednesday's casting seems flawless already. Ian McShane shined throughout every second that he had on screen, and his chemistry with Shadow, played by the 100's Ricky Whittle, looks to be a centrepiece for this story when moving forward. So let's have a run through the gods, or at least the ones we know thus far. First off, and most importantly, there's Mr. Wednesday. His hidden agenda hasn't revealed much, but his mysterious actions do have you questioning who he truly is. I think I have an idea already, which relates to a certain feature that Wednesday kindly pointed out for us, but for now, let's see when they might reveal it. All I'll say is that his status as a god might be quite high up. Next up, there's Mad Sweeney, a seven foot tall leprechaun that just loves to pick a fight. I actually really enjoyed him in the episode. Again, I didn't really know what to expect from him, but him teasing Shadow with his coin trick, then baiting him into a fight was amusing and crafty on his part. Though I doubt very much him showing up at the same place as Wednesday was a coincidence. Perhaps he has already been recruited to the ranks. I mean, if Wednesday is looking for a war, I find it hard to believe that Sweeney will be one to back down from that. And aside from those two that we are aware of, we were only introduced to a couple of more gods this week. Bilquis, an ancient goddess of love, quite literally devoured a man in a visually striking scene that was fitting for Stars' channel. And as for the new gods, we only met Technical Boy, but whoa, he took things from 1 to 100 by almost hanging Shadow at the end of the episode. And this kid looks to be the real deal. He's clearly worried about Wednesday recruiting all of the old gods, which was apparent after him abducting Shadow and then nearly killing him, but I doubt very much he is the leader for this new age of gods. And after the terror he instilled in his short appearance at the end, I would be worried for Shadow's future, as he's being eased into an age-old war of the old gods against the new. My overall verdict for the series premiere of American Gods is a 9 out of 10. The show started off on incredibly strong footing. I have been eagerly awaiting this show since it was first announced, and after this week, I am so intrigued to see what's further down the line. It gave us a lot of details to absorb in this premiere, and I think the show will be all the better for it. Instantly, from the show's first shot, I was like, yep. This is Brian Fuller's work, all right. The visuals, as you would expect with it being him, are again brim with incredible detail. And it was extremely reminiscent for Hannibal fans such as myself, especially after watching Shadow Dream of the Bone Orchard, complete with its very own white buffalo. It had me instantly reminded of Will Graham's visions with the Wendigo and the stag. 
David Slade also delects the premiere, who did a lot of Hannibal's episodes, so it's clear that Brian likes to try and bring a lot of his reliable team over into each of his new projects. And that's crew and cast alike, given that Jonathan Tucker also appears in this show. My favourite scene from the week was near enough whenever Shadow and Wednesday shared the screen together. Whether on a plane or at a bar, both Ricky Whittle and Ian McShane had instant rapport, which for two of your main stars that make up the spine of your show, isn't a bad way to start the series off on. Though it was a tragic way for Shadow's story to begin. And you can't really blame the guy after losing nearly everything he had for being enticed by Wednesday's offer. He was lost and was being granted a route to be able to escape. I'm looking forward to seeing who Wednesday will introduce us to next. Hopefully it's Peter Stamare's character, who I just cannot wait to see. Now with the show being on stars, you can expect the usual. Blood, sex, gore, each one of them more graphic than the next. That flailing arm from the opening Viking slaughter though, that was just something else. I think it actually managed to impale someone through the neck, and believe me, I did not forget that first Viking that got screwed over more than Leonidas did at the end of 300. The show is rich with backstory. All gods, Norse gods, gods in general, are sustained by people's continued beliefs. And with the old gods becoming weaker, new ones such as technology look to stage a war for who will reign in the future. Wednesday may see something in Shadow that we are yet to learn about. He was supposedly being eased into this unfamiliar world, and considering he ended up hanging from a tree by the end of the first episode, it's safe to say he might be in the thick of it now. Thankfully, we know Shadow's alright with that noose being cut at the end, but who the hell caused that bloody massacre where heads, limbs and all other manner of body parts were being scattered and dismembered all over the ground? Was it Wednesday appearing to save his newly recruited Erin boy? Or was it another old god that we are yet to have laid eyes on? Only way to find out is to tune in next week. And that just about does it from me. What did you guys think of the series premiere for American Gods? Does it bring up any nostalgia from previous shows? And what was your favourite moment from the debut episode? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the review. And I'll see you on the next one. He's hustling you. He's a hustler. Damn right, I'm a hustler, swindler, cheater and liar. That's why I need assistance.